draw a chicken nugget. Draw a chicken nugget. Um, no. <laughs> I think we're going to draw a sleeping fox today. This is a really easy drawing. Um, let's, let's get rolling. So we're going to draw this fox today. And as a sleeping fox, it's pretty simple. Um, you could do it color, markers, whatever you like. Um, there is one line you do need to erase. Um, and yes, that's he's making the fox sounds, not that he's bored drawing is it sounds. It, that one is, a, I think that's a dog. And that one's not sleeping. He's wide awake. Ah! All right, so what we're going to do is start out by making a circle on our page like that. That's going to be for the head. So draw your circle. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is the, the line for the ears. Now the line is like an upside down rainbow line, so it's coming from here. And it's just going like that. <laughs> okay, you did it your own way. Let's <laughs> let's keep moving forward. So what we want to do is bring this line from here into the head for the ears, and it's a curved line like that, and a curved line like that. You do it on both sides. It's for both ears. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is inside of the circle, we're gonna we're gonna make the nose and the muzzle. So it's a U that's at the very bottom of the circle. You can make it come off a little bit. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So it's going to come off a little bit, and that's a U right there. So on yours, you're going to start there and make a U like that. I should have made mine bigger like... That's okay. All right. Wait, that's so easy to catch up. Okay. <laughs> make your U. Good. Now inside of this U... I'm drawing two. Two. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a U inside of here. That's for the nose. I'm really itchy. That's great. <laughs> So you're going to put your U inside of the U. And then we're going to close it up. So for go, watch what I'm doing. See, watch. Watch. Watch you. Oh, All right, okay. from here to here, go. Close. Like watching TV? Yes, I'm just like TV. <laughs> and then you can fill this in right now. Yes, and just YouTube. Because it's black. And you want to add like a little top that has some highlight on it. That's awesome. Good job. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to start out building up the area for the eyes. This is really easy. So what you want to do is make two lines that come like this. Okay. So you've got a line that comes here like that. But leave some space. Yeah, you, I do. That's very good. Leave some space. All right. And then we're going to make the eyes. Now the eyes, they're closed. So they're just, they're going like th this angle. Yeah, he's got it. So from here... You're gonna make those eyes. Now you want to make a little Wait. curve on them. You can, like that. One there, and one there. Now you have a sleeping foxy. Look. Oh, look, 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 look. That's the shape of what? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. but the other way. But the other way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Totally. All right. So while we're here on the head. We're gonna um, finish up the face. So the face, the fox's faces are very angular. They're like. Triangles. Wait, I forgot so from here, on, I forgot to do it on here. Okay, and do it. I'll eat up. Okay. That so one's Fox, gonna take a long time. I like you have a big one and a little one. It's very cute. We so, go big. <laughs> we go big. <laughs> so what we're gonna do next is the angles on the face. You're gonna go a line like this and a line like this because foxes are very angular. So you've got one there and one there. Does this remind you of everybody? This creature. Mm -hmm. Does it remind you of anything? Raccoon! It raccoons? It also reminds me of a little dog that we may know. So. Penny! Yeah. <laughs> our it's dog Penny looks like a lot this. like a fox. So it is hard to draw with a dog mask on your hand. I agree. So <laughs> what we're going to do is come out here. We're going to do the fur that comes out this way. So we're going to make a zigzag, Can zigzag. Yep. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Zigzag, zigzag. zigzag. Nice. I like it. All right, so we're we're like almost done. That's why I said it's such a quick drawing. So what you're gonna do it's is so from behind quick. the head now. So from behind the head now, we're gonna just start making a line. I'm starting about the right where that ear starts. So it's right about here. I'm gonna go from here. I'm gonna stop because I don't want to run over that ear. And then I'm just gonna go around this way. And it's just like a backwards C with a little extra. If you want, hold the paper. Yeah, hold the paper steady with your other hand so that doesn't go flying around when you're working. 
It's much harder to draw when your paper is moving. Oh, I love it! It's like a little family. Alright, so what we're going to do now is the tail. Now they have big bushy tails, and the reason why this drawing is easy is because we're not doing any of the legs. And you don't really see them. Like I looked at a lot of pictures of foxes, and you couldn't see the legs when they were sleeping. So Look at the fox! Yeah, that's a dog! <laughs> Alright, let's get look, look, it's the face of my fox! Mm-hmm. All right, let's say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Fox. Fox. Goodbye, fox dog. Dog thing. All right, and then we're going to work on the tail. So the tail goes from here. So you're about, you know, about that far away from that line. And you're going to go up, down, and then we're going to come back over here. Now, the end of the tail, I'm going to end with a zigzag line. Zigzag, zigzag. Eep. That looks so good. Do this guy, like too. A... Do this guy, too. I love it. All right, then we're just gonna. It looks like a big arm. It does kind of. Well, yeah, I could see that too. That's my arm. So from here, we're gonna just pretend that we're gonna come underneath now and close this up, so that it looks like it's curled. The little fox is curled up in a little ball. So you can have see? yeah this line right here under the head. So from here on this, can I do it on this one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that one goes to like there, and that one goes there. That looks so good. All right, yeah. let's just connect these lines here. And like that. Make that a little darker. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start the shading and erasing. The only lines I really have to erase is that circle that's like right I didn't do it. there. I know you didn't do it, but <laughs> I'm going to erase this circle right here and then I'm going to shade. Are you going to shade too? Or are you going to just dance around? You can't see this, but he's actually dancing around back here while he's um, drawing. So I'm going to shade. You guys can color or shade or whatever you want on this one. I just like it because it's simple and it looks so cool. All right, you shading? No? No. No, he's gonna dance. You can't see this, but there's dancing going on back here. So I'm gonna shade. I'm this. pretending I'm hula hooping. Oh, you're hula hoop. Oh yeah, you are an expert hula hooper now. Mm -hmm. I started like three days ago. I know. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and we'll see you next, next time. time. Bye! Bye.